Hi, this is Paolo from the MB Academy and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make wrist spaces like the ones in the track The Sirens by Matthews. So this is the original track. And this is my recreation. Now I'm gonna be showing you how to make this main layer. and also how to add harmonics into that layer. Now this third layer is just a sub. So we're gonna skip that one. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any of your future videos, and also if you wanna get access to this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialized patch and the first thing we're gonna do is to set up our oscillators. So for that we're gonna turn on oscillator A and B, set both to the basic shapes wave table and set them to saw waves. Now to get a consistent sound we're gonna bring the random phase all the way down and experiment with the phase knob. In this case, I'm gonna leave both of these oscillators, first oscillator A in the initial point and oscillator B at 120 degrees. Next, we're gonna introduce some phase cancellation by detuning oscillator B, like that. And we can map a macro into the fine tuning so we can automate that parameter and get a different rhythm. Now we're going to hold shift and alt and then click on the modulation to make it unipolar. And we're going to save this macro for later. Next we're going to turn on the sub and the noise. Boost the sub all the way up. And now we're going to go into the effects tab and we're going to turn on the distortion. Now we're going to drive this all the way up. Like that. And we're going to put an EQ before the distortion. And we're going to use different EQing to create a different tonality in the sound. So for example, I'm gonna bring the gain of this bell all the way down, play with the Q, and now experiment with different frequencies. That sounds good. Let's add another bell and boost this one, bring the Q down and experiment with the frequency. Now depending on the EQing that you do before the distortion is how your bass is gonna sound in terms of texture. So if you don't like the texture of your sound you can always revisit this EQ later. For now, let's leave it like this. And now let's turn on the phaser. But we're gonna bring the depth all the way down and the frequency all the way down to get that amp effect. Now, as you add these effects, you can go back into the EQ and you will notice a lot of change. For now, let's leave it like that. And next, we're gonna turn on the chorus, set it to a high pass filter, bring it down, bring the mix down. And next, we're gonna turn on a filter. And now, this filter, we can use it to add an extra layer of movement in the sound. For example, we can map LFO number one into the cutoff, turn off the rate, and we can change the shape to a sine wave. Make sure we go into the modulation and hold shift and alt to turn it into unipolar. And we can experiment with this frequency. Just like that. All right, so that's gonna be it for Serum. Now let's jump into some post-processing. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna add into this sound is some erosion to add noise in the tops. Like that. 
And next we're gonna add another EQ. And with this EQ, we're gonna do some drastic boosts. And the reason why is because we want to use this dynamic of EQing and distorting to manipulate the harmonics in a manual way. So I'm gonna boost this up and then use very high bells on the frequencies that I want to be more present in my sound. And the same applies to the frequencies that you don't like, so you can bring those down. For example, this area right here, I think it's too resonant, so I'm gonna bring it down. And I'm gonna bring this very highs up. As always, you can go back into the EQ and experiment with the different frequencies. Next, we're gonna add a simple reverb just to put this sound in a space. And we're gonna cut this up of the sound. And the reason why is because of all the different EQing messing with the face. So, that's the sound you should be getting. As always, you can go back into Serum and change the initial EQ. To get a different texture. And now we're gonna jump into the next patch, which is the one that adds harmonics into the sound. Okay, so here I have an initialized patch. We're gonna be playing an octave lower. And then we're gonna set our oscillators both to sine waves. We're gonna bring the level of oscillator B all the way down and we're gonna add FM into oscillator A. But we're gonna move oscillator A two octaves down and oscillator B two octaves up. And next we're gonna turn on the sub. And the reason why is because we want to add some distortion. And if we don't have sub, the sound totally loses its texture. Now you can change this FM knob depending on the format that you want for your harmonics. In this case, I'm gonna leave it at 58. And now on the effects, we're gonna add hyper to get a wider sound. We're gonna bring the distortion a bit lower. We're gonna add some chorus. A lot of reverb. Bring the size and the decay lower. And next we're gonna add a multiband compressor. Boost the release and bring this up all the way down. And now we can go back into the oscillator tab and modulate the level of oscillator A. And change the rate of it. To get a cool rhythm. Next we can turn on the filter. And on this filter we can use something like a bandpass. To choose where do we want to focus all of these harmonics in the frequency spectrum. Like that. Let's just add some drive. And now let's jump into some post-processing. Now for post-processing, once again, we're gonna add an EQ and cut everything that is sub. And we're gonna boost the frequencies that we like and bring down those that we don't like. There you go. Now we're gonna add some OTT into the sound and some reverb before it so we can drown this sound in noise. Now let's bring the amount down and push the time all the way up, add some gain, and on the reverb, let's bring the decay time a bit lower. 
There you go. And next, we're going to add an utility. And with this utility, we're going to automate the gain to bring this sound in the front of the mix in certain notes. For example, in the original track, these harmonics are more present in this note. So we're going to boost them there. We're going to fade in the sound like this with the automation. And we're going to repeat this on the last note. So now, we get that movement. Now, with the sub, we get that sound. And now, if we go into the first patch, we can go back into the macro that we set for the rate, and we can automate that in a specific notes so it oscillates faster. Just like that. Maybe on this one, we'll also make a boost. There you go. And again, we can go back into the serum and change the EQ. There you go. And now we've played this with all the tops from the original track. This is our final result. So that is going to be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any of your future videos. And if you want to get access to this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.